So I'm Steve Gordon. This is my wife Christy. We're we're sitting in uh, we're located centrally on Chincoteague Bay, and pretty much right in the middle between the Ocean City, Maryland Inlet and the Chincoteague, Virginia Inlet, which is the widest part of Chincoteague Bay. It's actually uh, about five miles wide here at Narrows as you approach both of the inlets. About 20 years ago, through the help of Don Webster and Don Merritt, uh, both with, with the Extension Service and the University of Maryland, uh, we, we uh, developed a small shellfish nursery. We've done this, we started this out as somewhat of a hobby and, and both of us had full-time jobs. But I look back at the, at the, you know, we were one of the first, I guess, in the state of Maryland that, that, that started with shellfish aquaculture and I've seen many companies uh, develop and pass us by in terms of growth and whatnot where they've put their full interest in it so yeah it's a blossoming industry um, there are a lot of good things happening in Maryland with shellfish aquaculture we've processed or nurseried I guess um, hundreds of millions of clams over the 20 year and oysters uh, that go to a select customer base in the Mid-Atlantic area. I'm Christy Gordon. I retired from the Board of Ed four years ago, and I've been doing this full-time since I retired. It's a nice little go out there in your bathing suit and your flip-flops, uh, work in the water. It's There are some days I don't love it, but most of the time I do. I like it a lot. It's very relaxing. Yeah, there are basically three stages of shellfish aquaculture. You have the hatchery, which is a somewhat of a laboratory environment, indoor, you know, where you take your uh, select shellfish, uh, you induce them to spawn by uh, warming the water that they're in. Uh, you collect the larvae as it comes off and you, you actually grow algae and feed that to the larvae until it creates a calcium shell and actually uh, becomes uh, the living animal. From there, they're moved to a nursery there are two types of nurseries. One can be on an on-bottom nursery in, in any body of water or a land-based nursery. And because of the uh, ease of land-based nurseries, we've elected to use that. It's much easier to work from. You're not out in the water all the time. You can stand and care for it very easily. And then the final uh, is the grow out uh, where the shellfish, whether they're oysters or clams, are moved into the natural environment where they're grown to market ready size. The clams would be planted on bottom. You know, oysters tend to grow faster and are worth a little bit more money than the clams, so a lot of people migrate to that. But because of the high salinity area that we're in, you know, we've concentrated on the clams, the hard clams. Bad, bad weather for us because we're on the open bay is, is our nemesis. So in this particular environment, I mean, every culture has different different issues. In this one, because we're working in a relatively sh shallow body of water, when we get major storms, it calls the bottom and there's a lot of silt is pumped in with the, with the, the water and the, that becomes a big problem. Yeah. We can have a substantial investment uh, in seed in, in this nursery. And um, I read about the principles of crop insurance and ended up, it was a great opportunity for us because I think for three hundred dollars a year or whatever the, the the fee is um we're protecting you know a substantial investment so uh, we've again we've never had to use it but it just lets you sleep at night i mean this is a family all our kids you know all our kids when they were going through school their kids worked here our kids work here now our grandkids we have them they're they're little and we have them up on the wall we're, we're grooming them already you know they're they're down there with us See, just about every kid in the neighborhood over the last 20 years has worked for us. Right. And it's fun. They come back with their families, and, and you know, they're, they're 35 years old now, and they bring their kids back here and show, this is where I used to work when I was a kid.